Hi everyone, it's Brad Filippone from boxbrownie.com and today we have a really fun test. I wanna see how quick I can shoot this home, 10 photos with my recommended Nikon D7200 package. You'll see that this is a push button system and it makes shooting on site an absolute breeze. So I'm gonna shoot 10 photos. My time starts now, so wish me luck. Here we go, here we go. All right, I'm at the front. I'm shooting from this position. Uh, as you can see, my camera's doing all the work so I can talk. It's bracketing automatically. It's such a great system. I'm shooting from here, getting all this foliage in, um, getting less of the neighbors. Over here is actually, uh, it's, it's a bit of a slope, that driveway. So it's actually not really the preferred angle. So the higher ground is always the better shot. So always take that in real estate photos. We're going out the back now. What I'm doing, I'm gonna walk over to the rear of the house. Up here is the back of the house. There's not really a lot to show. Uh, if you could use that for elevation for any of the shots, it's always a good thing. Uh, being a bit higher in shots always makes your photos look better. I'm gonna get my shot from about here because we have this massive hedge behind us. There's actually no room to shoot behind it. I'm gonna get a great shot here, getting the bird bath in, getting all this patio. We're good, flash is off. Don't need it on. As you can see, my camera is just bracketing. This camera is the best. Don't buy anything else. If you haven't got a camera and you want to buy one for real estate, this is your baby. Let's go, let's go. I'm going to shoot over here, right in this corner, because I'm going to pretty much be able to get all this and then just over here as well. So all my patio shot, because this camera is a crop sensor, I'm shooting this at 12 mil, which actually you know, it shows exactly how the eye sees it. Boom, press the button, forget about it. It's gonna take five shots, and then I'm gonna move inside. So while that's going, save me time, I'm taking these shoes off. I'll leave them over here and let's keep, let's keep going because that timer is ticking. All right, to the left here. Follow me into the garage. I'm gonna shoot from that garage because that's gonna be my best vantage point inside there. I'm also gonna shoot over here. I'm gonna open this front door, because this front door is actually a feature. Um, I'm not gonna include this corner bit in, I'm just gonna include this kitchen doorway here, because it shows a bit of aspect in the shot. I'm just gonna have a look. We've got a smoke detector up there on the, on the wall, on the roof. I've already checked it, it doesn't actually close, it is broken. Flash is on. That bracket's going. Sorry, it's really hot today. Um, Sunshine, oh, not the Sunshine Coast, we're actually in Brisbane, really hot. We don't get beautiful ocean views like where we're from. So we'll keep moving, that's done, that's done. We'll move over here into the master bedroom. Already know that the best shot's right here from the doorway. That's why it's so important to go for your walk around. So important. Boom, flash is on, I'm gonna forget about it. I know my next shot's over here. So we're all good to go. Cool, scoping up the next shot. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna get another one from here, because I can still get all the kitchen in the shot, and also this large living area over here. That's gonna be great. It's always great to include kitchen and the living area as possible. Get plenty of shots of the kitchen, because it's such an important shot of the home. It's almost done. Cool, cool, cool. Follow me over here. I'm gonna get another front on this kitchen right here. Um, I reckon I'm gonna shoot from here. I'm just gonna shut that door over there that's leading into the, to the garage. Always gotta be looking around the house for your angles. So I'm gonna run back here. Am I cheating because I'm running or what? You tell me. That front door's still open. Keeping that open to create beautiful, just a beautiful look in the shot because we've got tree foliage out there. Green, it's nice, it's good to look at. Um, the rest of this house is just really white or creamy, so it's nice to break it up. So, because this is important, I'm just gonna stand over here. I'm actually gonna get another shot and have a quick look. No, that's not what I want. I'm gonna go over here now. I shot this shot before over the kitchen. I just wanna get another record of this room with this door open. 
because it's better to shoot a few extra shots on site than come back and reshoot any angles you might have missed. Jump the gun there. Time's ticking, that's why. All right, bathroom to the left, here we go. I'm shooting directly into a mirror. No problems there at all. These doors look a bit off the hinges, so I'm gonna open them right up. Our tapware is straight. I'm gonna line up that shot. Put myself timer on, get out of the way. My next shot's gonna be in the corner, shooting through here. And then I believe we've got one more shot to do, so. I can't wait to see what that timer's doing. I'm gonna shoot this room in here first and then finish off with this bedroom here. I've already scoped out. This room is the best. The reason I'm shooting this bedroom instead of the other two that look exactly like it, this one has a better view outside. So if you're gonna shoot a second, second bedroom and they're very generic, shoot the one with the better view. Always recommended. I've got one more shot. I can't wait to see what that timer's doing. And as you'll see from our, our edited, finished images, doesn't make a difference how, how long you spend on site. It's, it's all about shooting right and editing right. And of course, preparation is huge. Think of each one of those sections as a, as a third. You need every one of those completed to get the job done in the best manner possible. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Six minutes. Eight or 17, 18 seconds. What do you reckon? We'd love your comments. Please let us know your thoughts in our photos. Shooting property doesn't have to take a whole day. It doesn't have to take hours. You have the right setup. It's, it's just so much easier. Thanks for watching. Can't wait to see you on the next video.